voice search should obviously operate across all of the services um, that are that are on the platform. Uh, not so easy to do that, is it, Chris? Actually, I think what we're now looking at is sort of a phase two, if you will, of the second rollout of voice on these aggregation platforms as they interact with um, uh, with the different apps and the different catalogs. I mean, what what I've seen, you know, over the last let's say twelve to twenty four months, maybe beyond. Simple voice works, yes, but there is a tug of war happening right now between the operator, the OS of those platforms and then the apps themselves. And, and when the OS takes control and when the OS, let's call it some sort of digital assistant, is there to answer the question versus passing that back to the in individual catalogs. And there is, there is a tug, of, let's, let's, let's be honest, there's a tug of war of eyeballs just in that right there. And I've started to see now different catalogs and different content owners come to the table and say, look, this is where we're looking to stake our claim. When somebody is doing something in app, we want to have control of that. When somebody is on platform, but it's this kind of thing, we want to have access to that. And so I, I really think this question is well-placed. We are right in the middle of, I think, a lot of that starting to become ironed out because the first iteration of voice was great. You could find the show title, sure. You could find the movie title, but it needs to go beyond that and it needs to work seamlessly. And it isn't right now. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done.